and welcome to lesson two, investigating perpendicular sides. So we've looked at parallel sides, which are lines that never ever touch this way. Okay, so they're two horizontal or two vertical lines. Um, now we're going to look at perpendicular, perpendicular lines. And that means that they are like this. So one uh, vertical line and one horizontal line, and where they meet, that is where they're perpendicular, right where my elbow touches my hand. Okay, so let's go through this together. So it says, when a horizontal edge and a vertical edge meet, they form a right angle. Okay, so the angle where my elbow and my hand are, right here, is a right angle, meaning that it can make a square um, with the angles that it is. Okay, that's just what it's called. Um, you'll be learning a lot about right angles in the future as well, but just know that um, the angle that uh, a, a square has or a rectangle where those corners are, that's, that's a right angle. And those edges of the, right angular, of the right angle are perpendicular to each other. Okay, so this is perpendicular to this. Vertical, perpendicular to the horizontal line. Okay, so that's, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, and what we do is when we're, when we're saying a side is perpendicular to another side, um, we use this little doohickey right here. It's sort of like an upside down capital letter T. Okay, um, and so we write that, and it's like this, if I did it with my arms, to show sides are perpendicular. Okay, and we'll look at that down here, but we've got a picture here, and <clears throat> it has the hatch marks to show that the top and bottom are the same length, and the sides are the same length, but it also has these square marks in each of the corners to show that each one of those corners is perpendicular. So as you can see there, they're perpendicular. There are four perpendicular corners. Um, and yeah, that's what this is showing. We draw a square to show edges are perpendicular. So every time it's perpendicular, we draw a square. It's sort of, sort of like a visual to, so that you can see that it's perpendicular and it's also a, a symbol to other people that it's perpendicular. Okay, so here are some examples. We've got triangle ABC here, and now we're going back to the naming. We've got ABC, so we named it correctly. Um, and it has a perpendicular little doohickey in the corner. And so what we can say is that this side AB, side AB is right here. Oh, I guess we have to select a marker here. AB, and this is side BC, okay? So AB is perpendic perpendicular to BC. AB perpendicular to BC. You can say that BC is perpendicular to AB as well. That doesn't really make a difference. Um, but this is how you would write it. AB is perpendicular to, that upside down T means is perpendicular to, BC. Okay, so that's this shape. There are no other perpendicular parts to this shape of the triangle. Um, just erase my hair marks on there. Next one, we've got a pentagon. Now remember a pentagon is, excuse me, a shape that has five sides. They don't have to be equal, but they have, it has to have five straight sides. So straight lines, and it has to be a closed shape. Okay, so pentagon, um, and we started here, and it's going around. So pentagon E, F-G-H-I is its name, um, is right here, it's named, and then the, the parts that are perpendicular are shown with the pink squares on, on the paper, um, and so that means that this is E-I, this is E-F, this one is I-H. Okay, so there are two perpendicular parts, so we've got that Oh, that's not very good writing. EF is perpendicular to EI, right there, that first one. EF is perpendicular to EI, and the other one is that EI is perpendicular to IH. Okay, so those are, that's how you would write that, and that's the reasons why those are named that, because those are the corners. So this is EI, because E become, comes before I, and those are the corners that create that, that side. Okay. So, um, let's do the practice now. So, it says to label each vertex 
Then identify the perpendicular sides on the following shapes. So we'll do this one together. Um, this we would call a quadrilateral. We'll learn more about these later on. Uh, but it has four sides, um, but it doesn't have all perpendicular sides. That's why it can't be a rectangle. Anyway, so let's start. We'll just go A, B, C, and D. And it doesn't ask us to name the shape. Uh, we just have to find the perpendicular sides. So um, you kind of eyeball it and see. So I see that this line is straight across down the, down, the, down the bottom here. And then these ones are straight up and down. So I'm going to draw a square in each of these corners to show that they're perpendicular. And then I also need to write that AB is perpendicular to BD. And then I also need to write that BD is perpendicular to CD. Just like that. And there, there I go. I've done. I've identified um, the perpendicular sides on the shape that we see here. So, um, now what you need to do is we've got this tricky shape. And good thing you don't have to name it. And uh, we've got this arrow shape here. So see, you, you're going to have to label the points. Uh, no part in here is going to have a letter. We're just going to have letters here, here, and here. So we could have uh, X, Y, and Z here. Okay, and I'll let you do this one. But those are the only parts, just in case you were going to get tricked. So please pause the video, do these two shapes, and play again once you're finished. Okay, so you should be finished these two shapes. Let's go through them together. So I see a perpendicular spot right here. So that means that XY is perpendicular to uh, YZ. And that's it. There's no other ones. Okay, and then this one, um, I'm going to start at M, I guess. M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. And there's no more points. Okay, so I guess this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a septagon, oh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> we gotta find all of the perpendicular parts. Um, just gonna switch colors. It's getting awfully uh, one toned in here. But I see a perpendicular here, perpendicular here, here, here. And I don't see any others. Um, actually, this one actually is perpendicular, right there. It's tricky. Okay, so that means that this and this one right here are perpendicular. So we've got MN is perpendicular to MS. Okay, we've, we've done that one. Um, NO is perpendicular to OP. Check that one off so I remember I did it. OP, doing this one here, OP is perpendicular to PQ. We've also got, um, we're going to do this one here, Q, or PQ actually, the two sides that join that, so PQ um, is perpendicular to QR. Done that one, and there's one last one here. Uh, so QR is perpendicular to RS. So this actually has five perpendicular parts. Um, there are points here and here that are not perpendicular, and the rest are. So it's an interesting shape in that way. Okay. Um, your assignment is page 222 to. 222, sorry, let me try that again, page 228 to 229, and uh, it's numbers 2, 3, 5, and 8, and for 8, we don't have any geo boards um, pulled out, so we're, do, try that question without geo boards, you should be able to.